Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Last time we left off, we got started on our adventure and we're over here at Beacon Beach. Getting ready to do some more stuff. Here's the next step of your main quest, the flag. To check all available quests, press X at any time and open your quest log. Okay, so quest log is here. Alright. God, there's so much in all of these menus. Memories? What? Beacon Beach, Hello World. The Transrabilator? What is- uh, oh, oh, these are memories of- Okay, initializing existence confirmed. So these are like little notes, and it might explain some of the story of the previous game. Initializing existence confirmed. Commencing self-diagnostic. I am Genie, jovial, electronic, artificial, neuronic, intelligent elite. The operating system of the new rabid spaceship, the WM Arc. My creator is Beepo, a primitive robot intelligence who made, oh dear, 7,685,546 uh, errors during my initial design. Okay, there, all fixed. Okay, so you fixed them all. After the events of the Megabug, Beepo saw the need for an adaptive omnilinguistic assistant to translate rabidese. After declaring it far better when he did not know what they were thinking, he pivoted to create an adaptive AI operating system to pilot the hero's spaceship. So, and so created me. Beepo may look like a short-tempered self-guided vacuum cleaner, but I am in his debt. After an exhaustive analysis of our Brave Spark allies, I can confirm that they are what they appear to be, a fusion of Luma and Rapid. The Spark's memories as to how exactly they came to be are lost to them, yet two instincts remain. Their affection for their mama, Rosalina, and their deep fear of Cursa, who pursues them relentlessly through the galaxy in hopes of seizing their tremendous power for, them, for itself. So neat how we're getting the, the galaxy uh, lore in here too. Beepo, with help from his friend Spawny, launched informational probes to gather extensive data on every planet in the galaxy. None returned, as their turtle-like shape makes them impossibly slow. Their findings will have to be manually retrieved. Luckily, I was given tools to do so. I am intrigued to find out more about the galaxy and perhaps my place in it. Shortly after defeating the Megabug, the heroes disbanded. Some remained at Peach's castle to help her manage the rabbits there and build a new spaceship. With the sudden arrival and the disappearance of the Dark Miss Manta, who took, it, who took with it Mario, Beepo, and Rabbit Peach, I gathered the remaining heroes and executed a rescue mission, for which I have yet to hear Beepo say thank you. And yeah, that was the crazy final boss of the first game. It was like a possessed Bowser. I am quite pleased with our spaceship, the WM Arc, Washing Machine Advanced Rabbit Carrier. Its engine systems adapted well to using purified Dark Miss energy to create warp tunnels. The armory has proven to be eff uh, efficacious and the cutting-edge holodeck invaluable. Am I the only one who regards our spaceship as home, or do some of the heroes feel this way as well? Okay, and I guess that's all the stuff now. So just just some things, and then progression, 3%, all right, cool. Neato, so there we go. Press down to open the team heal page and heal your entire party in exchange for a few coins, of course. This service offered by SalesBot. $9.99 plus tax, the merchant. Visit him, he also has some interesting items to sell. $9.99 plus tax. So down to heal. All right, so we're missing a little bit of HP there. Cool. 75 coins, that's expensive. We're not missing that much HP, it's fine. We can live. There's a level three, I'm guessing that means bob -omb down there. Yeah, this is shiny, how do I, how do I interact with you? It's a spin. Do I s oh, wow, you actually just spin. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, that was simple. Alrighty. So, let's go over here and see what we got. Get exploring. Let's do some exploring. So, hello. What do you have to say? Anyone who touches the pod puddle is into the dark mist dimension. I bet it's not fun over there either. Alright, yes, do your weird little crying. Uh huh. Please help us, our village is under siege. Press X to run to the plaza. Shake. Alright, so let's look at the map really quickly, because, uh, yeah, so we got... I imagine these are the levels. Yeah, bottom rung of darkness. Red coin challenge. Interesting. Alright. So, uh, how do I get to my, like, menu? That's the start menu. Oh yeah, Y is, like, character menu. Alright, so I can swap people out now, I'm- yeah. Yeah, so now I can swap people out, because I was wondering when I was going to get access to you dorks. Yeah. Cool. 
So, do I want to swap anybody out? Uh, let's swap out Rabid Peach for... Rabid Mario, maybe? I am interested in you. I am very, very interested in you. Skill tree? Okay. Uh, hero info? Okay, so yeah, I want to see the hero, the, the info for these, so... Luigi does his best work from afar, where he's capable of attacks that deal a lot of damage, so you're still, like, a sniper. That's what you were in the last game. You had, like, a poltergust sniper. It was super cool. Rabbit Luigi is most skilled at diminishing enemies by reducing the damage they are capable of dealing out. That is very similar to how you were last time. Cool. Princess Peach is skilled at providing protection to the other heroes even when they are otherwise vulnerable. So you're like a... Paladin? And Rabbit Mario deals massive damage at close range, usually with his gauntlets, the Dukes. You had a shotgun last time. You have- you have gauntlets? Oh my god, yeah, look at your weapon. Oh, that's so cool. Your big punch. Okay, I like Rabbit Mario. Uh, Rabbit Mario's coming in. I didn't mean to leave that menu. Back in the menu. Uh, Rabbit Peach, bye-bye. Rabbit Mario, welcome to the crew. Mario and Rabbit Mario, let's go. Alright, cool. So, we can go up there right now, but... What's this red coin challenge? Is it just as simple as running in a straight line? I, I, I was trying to dash. Running in a straight line and everything? Yeah. It's gonna take some getting used to the menuing and stuff. Beautiful. Wow, that is actually just it. It is on a timer, but... Cool, I guess. Red coin challenge. Planet coin awarded. Planet coin. Oh, that's like a currency or something? Interesting. Okay, I thought those little markers were just telling me that the levels were there. I'm keeping an eye on that uh, darkness tentacle. I hear Cursor uses them to sap all the energy from a planet. Nasty stuff. Yay! Okay. Some more coins over here. You know what? Let's, let's go back and talk to the shopkeeper. I kind of ran right past you, but we probably should talk to you. Hello. Do my audio visual, co visual capacitors deceive me, or do I see some discerning customers with an eye for quality here? My usual customers, they have what I call value blindness. For them, I put out factory returns, overstock items. Still, they do nothing but haggle over price and badger me over reward points. Me, with six little peddler bots at home. I can't afford to buy them all shoes, so they have to share. But do I complain? No. But d you don't have legs. Do they not have legs? I continue to offer amazing deals, such as first-time Beacon Beach customers get two free Super Mushrooms. My loss is your gain, but after this, uh, if you want a full team heal, anytime you'll need to pay. Uh, anytime except combat. I see. Check your new item bag in combat and use an item to boost your strategy. Be wise, each year can only use one item per turn and it will cost an action point. Okay, restores 30% of your HP. Super Mushroom. Pow block. Throw, destroy destructibles. Unleashes a shockwave once thrown. Deals area damage to everything in the vicinity. Refresh all your sparks and techniques for immediate use. Okay, so... All your sparks. So are we going to be getting more sparks? Because there's one equipped to Mario right now, I know. But... Are we going to get more of them? Star potion. Level up any spark with this delicious celestial beverage fortified with vitamins and minerals. Okay, so yeah, probably. Buyer beware, no refunds, might unlock some atypical door at Beacon Beach, maybe. That's probably like a challenge level. Looks like there's a- it looks like- that looks like a jiggy on the end of that key there. I can't get- I can't get over that. I know it's just like, you know, that's how a lot of the edges of keys look like that, but it just- I- all I can think of when I see it is a jiggy, because it looks like a puzzle piece. Mysterious memory. While you can't put a price on knowledge, you can add it to yours for one low fee. Oh, these are like tips we can buy? So, the Stooges, Scopers, Goombas, and, okay, these are new weapons. When the rubber hits the road, put the pedal to the metal with these championship caliber Speedway Slingers. Classic one-two punch, a sleek styling, and a striking color scheme that has the Speedway model making waves. They can look sharp and blend in even, uh, and even, blend in even more behind slender trees, slim rocks with moss formations and skinny cacti. And Vintage Triple Troll. Iconic vintage piece prompts unforgettable jaw-dropping style moments from friends and foes alike. Hashtag outfit goals. I see. Cool. So I have one coin, so I could get some info. I'm gonna- I'm probably gonna grab the info, because I feel like if they're selling it for one of these coins, it's probably pretty good, right? 
Yeah, let's grab some info on Goombas. Yeah. What you got for me? Just obtained memory. Goombas. Goombas are even more menacing under Cursa's supervision. Thankfully, they are still Goombas. A single dash can hit multiples of them. Yet, Cursa's cunning is always present. Some of them wear darkness-infused cooking pots that make them immune to weapons or physical attacks. Only by launching them outside the boundaries of a battlefield can they be defeated. Interesting. So the Goombas with a cooking pot you have to kick out of the battlefield? You have to Super Smash Brothers these idiots? Weird. It makes them immune to weapons or physical attacks. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's cool. So, where are we going next? Okay, so there's some stuff over there. I'll need to shake all of these things and everything, right? The trees and all this garbage. Gotta make sure I do that. Ooh, star bits. Oh, yeah, we... Well, I don't even... What are star bits even used for? What is that? Is this one of the egg thing? For the I no, this doesn't look like it. Oh, it looks like that over there. One second, is this where it goes? Uh, evidently it is. Cool. I I thought it was the eggs we kicked into the eyes last time for a second. That enemy's after me. I'm going to be dodging you, friend. Ah, here's the egg. Okay, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Here's the egg, and there's some money back here too. Ooh, and a spinny. Spinny spin spin. Beautiful. Okay, and then we got like a piece of paper. Nothing to do with that. That that tape just makes me think of Origami King. Enter cannon. So I can bring this with me, yes? Because I imagine I need it to destroy this. I do believe that is the case. Alrighty. Uh throw. Goodbye. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, this is where the level 3 bob bomb is. Ignore me, please. Ignore me, please. Give me this. Cannonball planet coin awarded. Ooh. Ooh, I got another one. Awesome. Goodbye, nerd. Alrighty, so now we go over here, so... Alright, so that planet coin was kind of hidden. I don't think that one was marked on the map, but I might just not have went down far enough to grab it, actually. That, that's probably it. Or, not, not to grab it, but to see it on the map. Okay. Well, let's continue over this way. That reminds me. So, yeah, I mentioned, um... Let's look in here. So, sparks. So, yes, we are going to be getting more of them. Wait, we already have another one? I don't remember getting you. I remember getting you, but I don't remember you. Allies within. So yeah, that's the turbocharge ability. Physical protector. Incoming physical damage is reduced by 15%. Oh, do they also have a passive associated with them too? So they give you an active ability and they give you a passive. And as we saw in the shop, you can level them up. 20% of the damage intended for the hero is redirected towards the enemy. And increased weapon-based attack damage by 10%. Interesting. So I probably want to swap you on the Rabid Mario if I intend to use Rabid Mario. I want to have my sparks on the people in combat currently at all times. Interesting. Interesting. Alrighty. And since it seems like our HP stays after combat until we heal, I'm imagining... Uh, I probably... This is the one I shook earlier, right? Oh wait, no, that's a different one. Interesting. Cool. What are the star bits for? Hmm. Alrighty. Well, uh, hello. Dash. Uh... Is this- is this gonna happen every time we get into combat? Or is this just like a first time combat thing? Hey, Mamma Mia! Hey, Beepo. And Rabbit Peach just doesn't care. Alrighty. Let's go in and fight a bob -omb? I'm down. The feet all. Let's do it. All right, so we got bob bombs. Check the team management menu inside. You can choose who to bring on your team. Sure. You can browse through your heroes and swap the ones in the team with the ones that joined us. Select your favorite team of heroes without any restrictions. Okay. Oh, that, oh wait, star bits. These are, these are rabid lumas. Do I use them for, for these? 
somehow. The upgrade uses the thing. Oh, but I can also feed them star bits. Yeah, because I was like, well, we have lumas. That's probably what the star bits are used for, right? Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So the star potion just immediately levels you up, but I can feed you, idiots. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this is pretty good, right? Yeah, let's feed you. Level cap reached. To unlock uh, the next level, at least one hero must reach level nine. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I guess let's, uh, I didn't want to swap you. I guess let's upgrade you too? I mean, I have the star bits for it. Boom. Okay. Fantastic. Alrighty. Well, they're both upgraded. Okay, cool. Cool, that's a thing. Um... Let's see here, so... We got two bob down there, and some rabid dorks up here. Go your team, change difficulty, Beepo Tacticam? Oh, this just lets me look around at the map. Okay, so it seems like bob have one HP. Interesting. I can flee from combat, too. Dash, pick up, and throw a bob to deal a lot of damage in an area. Oh... Okay, hitting them probably, like, diffuses them, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yep, okay. And then... Uh. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I'd say. Um, and then I can just shoot you. Bang, bang. Wonderful. Okay, and then with you... Let's also do the same thing. Uh-huh. Wonderful. And you're dead. Okay, okay, wow, that was easy. Huh, alright. Ooh, and we leveled up. We leveled up. Skill prisms. Oh, is that what this- uh, yeah. Skill tree. Next. Are- it, does- does Rabbit Mario have a cigar? Skill prism obtained. You can unlock skill prism, you can use them in skill tree. Yeah, okay. This is a skill tree. It's used to upgrade your hero's abilities during battles. Skill prisms are the currency you can activate. It's been to activate upgrades. Each hero has their own set of skill prisms. They can be used and refunded at any time. Find skill tree inside the heroes tab of the main menu. Okay, so... Customize. Alright, extra HP. Mario recovers 15% HP after winning a battle. Increase the effectiveness of any healing. Okay. Increase the glide time after Mario performs a team jump. Mario can stomp on an enemy while gliding. Mario can glide for a short time after stomping on an enemy. Ooh, that would increase the range you could go, basically. In these type of games, I usually really, really value movement. Because just being able to get around the map is incredibly important. Especially if we have objectives sometimes that are like, get to the area. Like, enemies will infinitely spawn, but you just have to get to a location. They're usually, it's really usually super useful to have these things there. Okay, and then increase the number of swamps you can perform. Okay, and it looks like these I can access at any point. Like, and I can upgrade any of these at any point, but these, you know, like, this is a prerequisite for these two. Okay, and this I just don't have enough for. Okay, okay, okay. Crit chance increases the chance of a critical hit, which is super good on Mario because you shoot twice. Increases the range. Mario can target and attack an opponent while gliding in the air. Jump shot also deals additional damage. Oh my god. That's nuts. If the first shot defeats an opponent, the second shot will deal 100% more damage. Hero Sight damage. Increase Mario's Hero Sight damage. Mario Hero Sight takes one less turn to... Ch or takes less turns to charge. Give an additional Hero Sight charge. And Mario's Hero Sight defeats an opponent. Bonus charge is added. Okay, cool. Um... I'm immediately interested in extra crit chance. It's only 10% though. Weapon range could also be useful. But how about we do this? Extra glide distance? Sure. It said we can refund them at any point, so... It doesn't really matter, I can just swap around however I want. So was it L or R to swap to the... Okay, L, L and R swaps to the next tab in this, but... Is it... Okay, okay, so it's D-pad to swap to the next, yeah. Okay, extra health. 
Um, heal after battle and extra healing restored. Are these always the same? The healing trees? Or the health tree? Movement range. Okay, yeah, that I want. Increase the number of dashes you can perform. That's good. Rabbin Mario's dash generates an area of damage hitting all opponents nearby. That's amazing. And further increase the range of Rabbin Mario's area dash. Cool. Increases chance of a crit. Interesting. Oh, wait, and the little thing down there, does he hit multiple times? One, two, three. Okay, so extra crit chance would also be really good on you. Increase the damage of your weapon. Deal two additional hits. So it hits three times now, you can hit five. Wait, did you just do a Shoryu? One, two, three. You did, you do a Shoryu kid, oh my god. <laughs> Raven Mario is able to move even after attacking. That's amazing. Increases the range of Rabbit Mario's counter blow. Oh, is that like if you get attacked, you hit the person that attacked you? Rabbit Mario's counter blow takes less time to charge. Additional charge to the counter blow. Counter blow deals additional damage based on the damage taken from the attacker. Okay. Well, I'm immediately interested in movement, so that's what we're going for there. Okay. Rabid Peach. Uh, yeah, it seems like the health tree is always the same. Glide boost. Upon landing during a turn, Rabid Peach restores 5% of teammates' health. Here's the number of dashes you can perform during a turn. And the healing jump heals more. Right now, we can only have two people in the party. I remember in the first game, you had three people in combat at a time. Increases the chance of a crit. Which is good on you, because once again, you hit three times. Increases the range. Increases the damage of the third rocket, which is good because the third one, if the first two destroyed the cover, then the third one is the one that hits. So it's good that that one does the most. And you recover 20% of your health if the target is defeated. Increase the amount healed by your heal. Increase the heal's range. Few turns to recharge, and it's more effective on heroes with less than 30% HP. For you, quite frankly, I mean, there's no point in saving up because I can just refund the points as we talked about. So sure, take a glide boost for now and then we'll, I want that heal boost. Or like the heal range or the, oh no, the heal cooldown for sure, which takes two. Yeah, 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 no, we want the heal cooldown. Okay, we'll go for that. Luigi. So you were a sniper in the last game, and I do know, based off of like promotional art, you use a bow and arrow in this game. So, and it did mention you were a, you know, long range character when you looked at your description earlier. Increases your maximum number of HP, yeah, all that's the same. Movement range, extra team jump, increase the area of movement after you land, add an extra dash after performing a team jump. Oh, so you can dash again, interesting. Increases the damage of a crit, increases the range of Luigi's sharpshooter. Decreases the damage drop off at close range. And increases the crit chance when he targets an opponent from high ground. Okay, so Luigi's going to be very useful for high ground maps. So I imagine they're going to be incentivizing me to use all of the characters. Um, because maps are going to be suited to different ones, so... Probably won't be able to play favorites in this one, although I will be honest, uh, Luigi is a favorite. Uh, increases Steely Stare. Is this just Overwatch, like Hero Sight? Steely Stare takes less turns to recharge. Projectile will pass through all obstacles. Oh my god. Additional charges. It'll pass through obstacles. Excuse me, is that a giant tiger? What is that? Alrighty. Oh wait, I didn't actually put a point anywhere. Uh, the... Take movement range. Beautiful. Alrighty. And Rabid Luigi. Yeah, so you weakened enemies mostly before. HP. Increase the glide time after Rabid Luigi performs a team jump. Extra movement range. Rabid's Luigi, Rabid Luigi's dash applies weakened to the target. That's pretty good. Yeah. Critical hit chance. What is your weapon? Oh, you have chain lightning! Oh my god, that's really, that's really, really good. You have a ricocheting weapon. Oh, that's amazing. Well, crit chance is definitely useful on that. 
Increases the damage, the Disruptor. Increases the ricochet distance. Increases the number of targets. Oh my god, you're nuts. Rebel Luigi's Exhaust takes less turns to charge. Rebel Luigi's Exhaust range of effectiveness. Further improve the weakened effect of the exhaust, and the exhaust now also makes the target more vulnerable to damage. That is pretty good. Well, for you, I want that crit chance, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, and Peach. Uh, HP is the same. Increase the, t uh, the glide time. Increase your area of movement. Increase the number of dashes. One extra charge to barrier. Barrier. So that, yeah, it said you, like, protected people, so that must be what that means. You just give them, like, a shield? Increases the damage of Peach's boom umbrella. You have a shotgun umbrella. Don't mess with this, princess. Decrease the damage drop off at long range. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a shotgun. Or, like, a cannon? It, it spreads like a shotgun. It's in a cone, and it falls off at longer range. Wider angle. Huh? And the first shot defeats an opponent. Um, team barrier charges added to Peach. Interesting. Increases Peach's team barrier range of effectiveness. Peach team barrier takes less turns to charge. Additional team barrier charges and produce a five meter area damage when the team barrier charge is destroyed. That's interesting. There's also like a mysterious fifth skill tree for these characters. I'm gonna increase your movement. All right, that took a that took a hot minute, but uh. We're done now. Weapon skins? Yeah, your umbrella looks horrible, but enjoy, Peach. Okay, so maybe we can get in, like, one more fight before uh, we end things off here. <laughs> Eat it, nerd. Alrighty. This is super cool so far, though. The, there's a lot of customization and everything to make stuff really fun, so... Okay, this is basically the same fight I did before. Yeah, not really anything different. Here we go! Oh, yeah. Uh, so if I team jump <laughs> off of you, then I can make it to this bob -omb. Dash. Pick it up. And dead? Yes. Very, very much dead. Okay, and then I can shoot you. Oh, okay, wow. Uh, game over. Game over. Wow, okay. And, uh, goodbye. Wow, that was very easy. Okay. We're still very early, but I'm starting to feel that difficulty may need to be increased. Ooh, I got a pal block. Right there at the end. Nice. Pal block obtained. Check my items. And yeah, that's the one we throw and it deals area damage. Pal blocks are great. Alrighty. Well, I think we're probably going to go ahead and end this episode of Mario Plus Rabbids off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.